friends welcome back to statisticians of today i am going to discuss how to pop object test in r i am joy and let's get started before going to the practical session first we need to know what is z test so z test is a statistical test which is used to determine whether mean of a population is equal to the specified mean or mean of a two populations are equal or proportion of population is equal to specified proportion or proportion of two populations are equal these all are applicable when the sample size is large that is n greater than 30 in this video we will discuss z test for proportion let's understand the types of z test for proportion two types of z test the first one is z test for single proportion and the other one is z test for equality of two proportion every test have their own assumptions so the assumption for z test of single proportion is independent Bernoulli trials are repeated a number of times and the number of repetition is large that is n greater than 30. this is the test statistic along with the null hypothesis on the other hand the assumptions is both the samples are sufficiently large and the test statistic is this and null hypothesis is p1 equal to p2 now we move to the z test for single proportion i am taking one example this in this example uh, there are 40 college student responses uh, about the question do you currently own shares in any stock which is a straightforward inquiry about whether individual possesses or hold shares in publicly traded companies it's a common way to guess an individual's involvement or interest in the stock market y represent yes and n represent no and we determine if the population proportion differs from 0.3 let's see how to calculate this in r first we need to write the null hypothesis here we take the null hypothesis is uh, p equal to 0 0.3 and the alternative hypothesis is p not equal to 0 0.3 here the number of occurrences is 14 out of 40 so x is 14 and n equal to 40 uh, 14 means the number of y responses now that means yes responses is 14 now and now let's see what will be the r commands the z test equal to prop dot test 14 comma 40 p equal to 0 0.3 and correct equal to false if we run this command the the result portion stored in this variable which is named as z test so if we run the z test the result will be this the result portion we see that the chi square value is 0 0.47619 and the corresponding p value is 0 0.4902 since the p value of the test is more than 0 0.05 that means we accept the null hypothesis and conclude that the proportion of the student investing in share, share markets do not differ significantly from 30% at 5% level of significance. Let's go to the Z test for equality of two proportion. Here I am taking one example of Z test for equality of two proportion. Here we determine whether the machine has been improved we can compare the proportion of imperfect articles in the two samples before and after the overhaul the first sample size is 500 and after the overhaul the 
base size is uh, 100 and proportion is 36 and 30. Let's calculate the proportion and compare them. As usual, first we need to define the null hypothesis. That the null hypothesis is P1 equal to P2, and against the alternative hypothesis is P2 le less than P1. The R command is prop dot test C36 comma 13 and n equal to C500 comma 100 and correct equal to false. If we run this command, then the result is chi square value is 3.7379 and the p value is 0 0.05319. Since the p value is greater than 0 0.05, so we accept the null hypothesis and conclude that the proportion of imperfect articles do not differ significantly at 5% level of significance. This is the all about jet test in R. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe our statisticians hub for more statistical insights. Thank you.